Nashville, Tennessee, also known as Music City, has seen plenty of stars roll through town. On one September night in 2013, on his first play from scrimmage, another headliner took center stage. They only bring three, throws it underneath to Chris Cantera, and they're claiming that's a turnover, and indeed it is. That was Tony Connor coming up with the ball, and watch him come in here and just rip this away from Chris Cantera. I was sitting, I was sitting at home and uh, I was watching it, you know, uh, watching these freshmen, you know, him, Laquan, and Lamy out there playing, and you know, Robert, you know, and I see this guy uh, from Mississippi, you know, Tony Connor. Like, okay, hey, you know, he got a pick. Okay, that's big time right there, you know, playing as a true freshman in the first game. Being, you know, the first time in the game. And the ball comes to him, I think, oh man, if he can do that every snap, we're going to win every single game. I can't say enough about this Tony Khan. He finds the ball, he always puts himself in good position. This kid's a joy to watch. I mean, there were a lot of teams were on him. Everybody wanted this guy. There were some SEC teams that wanted to make him the centerpiece of their recruiting class, and Hugh Freeze got him at Ole Miss, and it's easy to see why. I mean, it was a great feeling, just my first play in there and first interception. I mean, it was just a wonderful feeling. It feels so good to play with him, you know, and you know, because like when we were back in high school, it was always said that, you know, wherever I go, you come. Like we always said that we didn't ever want to split up. You know, I grew up playing against him in high school, playing against him in the uh, state championship whenever I was a senior and he was a senior. He was all over the field then, he's all over the field now. Yeah, I haven't seen him run, like actually run down the sideline. So with that being said, you know, Tony Collins is a great athlete. I mean, he's one of those guys that you know who the alpha dog is out there too, and, and when he's back there, you know it's him. So I think it's just because he's so humble and quiet, you just don't really know he's back there. Some guys are made that way. Um, he is more quieter, you know, and he's more of a "I'll show you, I don't have to tell you." He's not a big ego guy. Uh, he just wants uh, the team to be successful and be part of a winner. And that was batted down. That's just a good effort play that time by Tony Connor. This kid might have the best instincts of any young defender that I've seen, maybe ever. This kid is rare. He'll be here three years because he's got it. Destined for a breakout junior year, Tony Connor would have his patience and mental fortitude tested as an injury against Alabama would threaten his 2015 season. I was on the Blixen play and um, he came Topped the right, the outside of my right knee, and uh, I mean, I felt it popped in, and I knew it was hurting really bad. I mean, I still, I laid there, I got up, but I still managed to get up, and I didn't want to go out. I stayed in the next play, and I seen uh, that I couldn't just really go 100%. And I remember, like, Coach Batoon always told us, like, if you can't just really go 100%, just let him know he got guys on the sideline that's willing to get in and go 100%. He had a meniscus tear as well as a, a chondral defect, okay, where the his bone was chipped away. You know, we initially got the MRI back. You know, we looked and saw that how bad the injury was, and we kind of put our heads together and said, hey, do we give him a little scope now, get him through the season, or do we just go ahead and do the big surgery now? He uh, he wanted to try to do the scope, you know, during the season, finish the season, and then get the major, you know, operation after. Well, it was, it was obvious last year. I mean, after the Alabama game, when he went out, uh, we, we took us four weeks to kind of figure things out. Um, he was such a, a, a void for us. That's probably one of the most important uh, parts of our defense, that Husky position, because uh, this is a guy that has to have uh, the ability to tackle, be one of the best tacklers. He has to be able to blitz and pressure the quarterback. And then he has to be able to go out and play some man-to-man. -man. So we lost thousands of reps when you add them all together when you, when you lose him because um, you're always trying to get the best 11 on the field. And, uh, you know, I, I think it did. I think it took us uh, several weeks to uh, get caught back up losing him in that position. It's just like for the Super Bowl game, I went on and had my surgery before. So I like have more time to recover and everything, just so I can be back out there with my brothers. Chasing greatness, baby.
Well, Tony, he's um, he's always been a hard worker, so I knew the work part was going to be a process for him. I mean, he, he'll he do whatever you tell him. You might end up saying, you know, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if my leg going to be the same. I don't know how I'm going to play because you've been so away from the, you've been away from the game for so long. I think he's going to bounce back well, man. He's been rehabbing. He's been getting right. He's been ready. You know, you can see it in his eyes when you talk to him about football. He's just ready. It goes back to his personality that he's fixed on what he needs to do and uh, he's going to get it done. Uh, I just met with Coach Womack and I was just telling him about it. I mean, I, I'm, I've been out for quite a, quite a long time and I can't wait to just get back on the field and just be out there with my bros. is to Cameron Petway, who's worked his way into the starting lineup, and Tony Connor makes the stop.